Alright, we the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of America. That's right, it's gonna be destroyed. No, very soon. Alright, and we out here to wake up you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent to the fact that you are the true children of Israel according to the Bible. Not them long nosed, big eared, uh, master splinterite, uh, uh, so called Israelis. They will be destroyed too, all right, with America. All right, we also, we also out here to condemn, all right, and to judge you other nations, and let you know that you're going to go into perpetual slavery in the kingdom of heaven. So, with that, we want to give all praise to you. How about Shamal Shah? Double honors to the elders of great millstone that taught us this truth. And Shalom to all the oxen out there pushing the truth. Get Isaiah 58 and 1. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Yeah. Uh, cry aloud, spare not. Yeah, so we out here to cry aloud, one, so you can hear us over all this traffic and, and confusion and noise. Alright, and we ain't gonna spare people's feelings, man. Alright? Especially our people, because our people are wicked, man. Keep reading. Cry aloud, mm -hmm. spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Which a trumpet is loud, okay? So we're supposed to lift our voice up like a trumpet. Keep reading. And show my people their transgressions. All right. The Lord's people are the Israelites. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent. Keep reading. And the house of Jacob, their sin. And sin is transgression of the laws of the Holy Bible. Get that real quick. All right. Because you got, what? what is that? Tuesday coming up. All right. Well, all you simple-minded people that really believe that your your peon vote really matters, which it doesn't, all right? You're going to go and vote, all right? But voting is a sin to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Read this. 1 uh, John chapter 3, verse 4. And y'all going into slavery, man, all right? And America's going to be destroyed. Whosoever, trans uh, whosoever committed sin transgress also the law. Yeah. For sin is the transgression of the law. That's right. Now go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 14. And read down from there. And these proud dykish bitches, they're going to get uh, taken in, in, in martial law, man. You know, we, we, we vex, man, because we in a season right now where the Lord just destroyed. Uh, uh, he killed 113 people with that storm. That's here alone in America. But yet these peons here in, in Charlotte, they always walk around with such pride, man. They never consider that that could have happened here. All right? But, you know, judgment is going to come more to Charlotte. All right, keep reading. Yeah. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 14. Yeah. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy power, 17, 14. That's a dollar for each of us. Yeah, for our pledge class. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When thou art come into the land, land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, yep. and shall possess it, thou shalt dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me. Now this happened during when you read uh, during the time of uh, uh, Samuel the prophet. All right, when Samuel got old, and his sons they weren't righteous men because they was taking bribes and stuff. All right. The people got, they came to Samuel and said, well, we want a king like everybody else. Because at that time, uh, the only power we had, well, the king was the Lord, all right? He ruled over us and he would raise up judges and prophets to direct the people, all right? But Israel didn't want that. They want to be like everybody else. They can't just be who they created to be, which is the greatest people ever, but they want to be low, and, and, and heathenistic like the rest of these PR nations. So they asked for a king, which Moses prophesied that they was going to do this, and that was fulfilled during the time of Samuel when they had set up uh, Saul. All right. Here we go. And shall possess it, and thou shalt dwell therein. Yep. And shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. Yeah, because all the nations have kings. All right? Which a president is a king, all right? Though he doesn't have that title, all right? 
But it's the same, it's the same office, man. It's a ruler. Alright. He's in a position where he supposedly calls shots. Alright, therefore he's set up as a leader to rule the people. Keep reading. Uh, thou shalt in any wise set him over, I mean king over thee. Uh-huh. Whom the Lord thou power shall ch uh, chose. Yeah, so one, the Lord had to choose the king, which the Lord chose. First he chose Saul, and then Saul was disobedient, okay? Because he didn't destroy the Amalekites, which the Amalekites are you so-called Jewish people, you so-called Israelis, which that's, that's not even in the scriptures, all right? Saul was commanded to destroy you, all right? Because what you did when Israel came out of uh, captivity under the Egyptians, which are Hamites, all right? So he didn't destroy them. So then what happened? The Lord removed Saul from being king and he set up David, all right? Okay, to be our king. Which he was an Israelite, keep reading. One from Yeah, and, and for these clowns out here, because you got you got the reemergement of these false prophets, like Batak, alright? This nigga talking about uh if if your mother is a heathen or or, or, or your mother's mixed, which there's no such thing as mixed races, alright? He say you're no longer an Israelite. Go to Ruth, go to go to Ruth real quick. Go to the latter, uh, probably like the last couple of verses in Ruth. The genealogy of King David. We'll read it real quick. Okay, because Ruth was a, a Moabite, which is which is called today a so-called Chinese person. Okay. Alright, and Boaz, which he was a Judite, alright, which Judah is you so-called Negroes. So it was a black man marrying a so-called Chinese man and they had children or a child they a Chinese woman excuse me uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, 18, we got to see my words. You want me to read? Yeah. All right. Speak while I get it. Yeah, man. We got people just walking around like every day. Everything's normal. The election's about to come up. We don't know who go. We think Obama will make it, but yeah. just walking around enjoying America, man, you know? Like peons. Like peons. This is Ruth, chapter... 4 verse 17 and the woman her neighbors gave it a name saying there is a son born to Naomi and they called his name Obed he is the father of Jesse the father of David now these are the generations of Perez which Perez was one of the sons that uh, Judah had with uh, Tamar all right he had Perez and, and Zerah okay this is uh, that lineage of Perez. It says, Perez begot Hezoron, and Hezoron begot Ram, and Ram begot Aminadab, and Aminadab begot Nashon, and Nashon begot Shalom, uh, Salmon, and Salmon begot Boaz. All right? Go to Matthews. Listen, go to Matthews chapter 1. All right? Read verse 1 real quick. And I want you to read. My Bible is going to drop and fall apart. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. Yeah. The book of the generations of Yahweh Shah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. That's right. Now hop to verse 5. And Solomon. 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 Got Bo, Bo, That's Boaz. Boaz. Oh. Raycob. Raycob. Now, now Raycob is Rahab. Okay. Which is that harlot when Joshua sent the spies to go spy out the land of Canaan and, and uh no, when they went to go uh